You probably just got in the game. You're happy. You're making money. Doing everything you're supposed to. You get on YouTube. And it's really hard to determine what BS is and what's not. Today, we're going to tell you how to deal with the mind barf or the white noise of this industry. This is Trucker Brown. You've made it. Now, listen, you, a couple of the variables that you need to really, really learn will be, what is it that I want to do? How much money am I saying that I want to make? It's out the way. It's fine. How much money am I saying that I want to make? Because a lot of it is what I'm saying I want is not adding up to the work I'm ready to put in. So you need to come up with the number that you think in your mind that around about what you want to make a year, what you're okay with. That's your own personal number. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to put it under there or anything like that. Then once you do that, you're going to come up with that number. Let's say it was 65,000 or 85,000. You can cross reference that with the internet. You can go to a website called Indeed and you can look at what roundabout you would make. Yeah, roundabout about what you want to make. You cross reference. You can look up, OK, I want to make this amount of money. I want to be home this much time. I want to be home every day. I want to be home every week. I want to be home every month. I don't care about when I come home and you're going to uh, figure out what jobs are in your area or whatever you're looking to do if your area even matters. Um then you look at those jobs and then once you go there, after you figure out what jobs around about what it is for you, you say, I don't want to be home every other day, make it close to 100 as possible. I'm going to do heavy haul. Then you got to dig into the requirements. Basically, what I'm trying to do is teach you how to research your own stuff without having to listen to other people. You look into the requirements of these jobs of the companies that you want to work for or eventually make it to and they will spell it out. They will say, oh, yeah, heavy haul, need two years experience, flatbed. That lets you know what? OK, well, I need to go start with a flatbed company, get my experience in. Then I can come and try to get this uh, heavy haul company I want. Oh, well, I want to do um, hazmat because I want to make even more money if, if that's what the case is. Look up the hazmat companies that's got the numbers that you like. Look at their requirements and see exactly what you're going to have to do to get to that level. You understand? So you basically going to look it up there and the, the, the hazmat company tanker company is going to say, Hey, uh, we need a year of hazmat, at least two years tanker. So that lets you know, all right, I need to go to, uh, uh, Schneider or prime or LCL or, or one of these places that has, can, that has a uh, tanker jobs. And I need to get into there. And I also, when I get my license, when I go to get my license, I need to make sure it's a program that helps you get your, um, hazmat as well. And your tanker as well. Cause some of these programs you can go to, they're gonna, some of them have it where you can get everything. Well, you can go in, get your license, tankers, doubles, triples, hazmat, everything in one schmoosh. And you thinking, OK, that's the program I need to step on because that program is going to help me get to where I'm going. Once you have all that, you went over there and you get your uh, your, your starter job. That ain't going to be the money that you initially wanted. But, you know, I need two, three years according to the requirements to the, to the place I'm trying to go to give me the money I want and get me home like I want. All right. Then you, what you do, you created your own blueprint from your own research, not coming on here and expecting someone on here just to have all of the answers i just this is what you do is what you do listen bro do your research learn how to research because most people do not know how they don't they they think they think watching this is research no this is this is not research this is someone's opinion 
What I'm giving you right now is my opinion. This is not research. You got to do your own research. You got to call the companies, go to the company's websites, have a uh, pen and pad, write down the company name, write down their benefits, their, their pros, cons and requirements, go on to the next one, go on to the next one, look at your stuff and think, hmm, most of the companies paying this amount of money needs this amount of um, experience. What company do I go to that don't need experience for me to get this experience? And that's how you run up on the Schneiders and the Primes and whoever has Tanker to get you to where you're going. You understand? You got to do your own research. Indeed, uh, you can just type it into Google. It's basically studying. And uh, one of the biggest problems that we have as blue collar people is don't know I want to study. You got to study because you the one making the money off of this, hopefully, or you the one not making the money off of this. You coming on here just listening to me telling you do A, B, C, D, E, F, G is based to my set of things that I want to do. You got to do your own research. You got to. There's no way to get around it. You can't fake it. You can't move it around because you're going to get in the situation that you're going to be like, oh, I didn't know. You didn't know because you didn't study, you didn't research what this job or this income or what needed to be done to get it and now you're in a position where you don't want to be there if you don't want to be OTR don't go to the OTR companies and research them there's no point or how many years of OTR you need to get out of it because you could say I don't want to be OTR for too long all right well figure out the job that's near where you live that you want that's paying you what you want and it's and that's getting you home as much as you need to figure out what their requirements are if they tell you you need two years OTR you go out you knock that out and then you come back, boom, bada, bang, you got the job you wanted, but you did your own research, you did your own path. That is very, very, very important. And a lot of things you have to realize too is that some people on here have a, what's the word? They have a, um, a incentive to tell you to go to their company. They get paid, they get paid per person. Or they done got chummy with someone in power and now, you know, they're going to say, come to this company, come to this company, come to this company, come to this company. I've tried to keep my uh, conscience and integrity completely clear in this area. If I don't believe you should go to the company, I'm not going to tell you to go to the company. I don't care if you work there or not. I tell you what, what company I think they got the best deal, I tell you. And it's been pretty simple in the same way for a long time. There's only really two companies I've really told y'all to come to. And that's Melton Truck Lines, where I popped my uh, flatbed chair yet, and Prime are the only two companies I've ever really told y'all to go to. And I've stuck to them. And they are decent companies to start off. So I've been offered from companies to, to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I've never taken a deal. Because that water gets murky, man. It gets real murky real quick. And next thing you know, a couple people get over there, start circling around, and it's like, hey, man, this person told me to come over here, woody, woody, whoa. And 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 then they not there no more, and then it becomes a big issue. I don't I want you to do the best as possible, but what you gotta understand is piss poor performance. I mean, piss poor planning leads to piss poor performance. If you came into this industry with no planning and no plan, you're probably going to suck for a couple of years until you find what you're going to get. Now, some people don't know. They go to college and they don't know what it is they want to do in college and they find themselves. But it is not just because it can be done does not mean it is to be done. I want you to come in and know exactly what you want to get done. OK, that leads to the next thing you 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 come into the game is you coming here just to get a job or are you coming here to accomplish something? If you know that, hey, man, I'm trying to uh, uh, buy a house, which is what usually every basic person in the world says they're coming in to do, uh, buy a house, start a business, get your savings right, get your this right, get your that right. And then you need to think about to yourself real hard. What are the saving strategies that I need? Now, I did a video telling you that how I blew my money, but I also ain't broke. <laughs> the, that money was I, what I allocated to blow. All right. Now, once my saving automatic drafts are, 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 are taken care of, I looked at it as I have this money to blow. All right. So one of the ways that I do this is, is that I set up an automatic draft for my bank. Every bank I have, I have three accounts. 
every bank account I have has an automatic draft on it. Every single one. One of them is 200 a week. One of them is 100. One of them is 100. And uh, one of it is an account I can't get to. It's a, you know, Roth. And the other one is just a save, regular savings account. And I haven't really got deep into um, the investment investment yet. As soon as I, I'm going to clear all of my debt and then I'm going to hit that harder. But that's the, that's the way I, I want to do it. You need to set up your automatic draft. Ain't no point in coming in this game and leaving with nothing or leaving with a bunch of debt. If you in this game and you still got debt, it ain't time for you to get out of the truck. So and then be mindful of how much debt you acquire, because once your income goes up, they're going to try to give you more debt. My total debt right now as a 34 year old is forty eight thousand dollars, maybe 50. That's my total debt. Now, there's some people who are looking at this and laughing like that ain't no debt. Because they got a $400,000 house, a $60,000 car, $20,000 second car, student loans from, from kids, their own student loans and credit cards. You see what I mean? Like, you need to think, OK, well, how much debt do I? I don't want to go over this much debt. You know, I need a car. You get that car, figure out how to pay it off early. I personally pay a thousand dollars a month for my pickup truck. It's only a $600 car note, but I pay $1,000. In return, they send me stuff telling me, oh, you're seven months ahead of your payments. You can keep doing this and pay it off, or you got a seven-month buffer for your uh, for your payments. You see what I mean? You just got to have a plan. And that's what I want you to have. And that's what I want to convey to you. If you got a plan, no one can take advantage of you. You'll have the advantage. And that's what it is about. This is Trucker Brown. I appreciate you for coming. Make sure you sub. You found the channel that's going to help you do better. Go to my Instagram, at Trucker Brown. I'm out. <laughs>